Today we're going to have a 4-2-1 progression which has this lovely leading sound back to the tonic chord on the 1 there. So, 4, 2, 1. Another little handy thing you can do with this is go 4, 2, 4, 1 for a different kind of feel. Uh, so yeah, using the same chords again but you know just changing the order like that, it comes up with a nice little groove and different idea. So, uh, so different chords here you can use. I, like, I really like to use this uh, sus chord here. The sus 2, or like um, an add 9 chord. Then use a minor 7. And then use another sus chord. Sus 2 again. Uh, so it's already sounded very good. Very like, you know, like a pop punky or, you know, kind of emo y, Midwest emu, kind, emu, emu kind of sound, emo kind of sound. Uh, but what I like to do, you've probably seen me do this a lot of times, is uh, add this like. We're sending melody into this. To me it doesn't feel complete, so I actually changed this sus2 here, the C sus2, into this uh, major 7 shape here. Just to finish it off. Which I think sounds a bit cooler, right? And uh, one last trick before I go, you can also throw the third in here, the third minor. So we go four, three, two, one. So for example, we have the D, fourth, then we can go third, And I encourage you to do the same thing up here with that moving melody, uh, so embellishing the chords differently. So if you had a D major 9, you can change to a D6-9. Get that kind of Japanese indie math rock kind of style. And then you can do the same for your B minor 9. Here you can result a uh, cycle between a That's all for today folks, um, hope you enjoyed this one. Anyway, uh, enough waffling on there, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon, goodbye.